We were at Sullivan Field two weeks before opening night. Rob Shadow here, the UIW baseball broadcaster. I'm with head coach Patrick Hallmark. First of all, Patrick, congratulations on the new job as head coach. Thank you. Happy to be here. Tremendous success at Rice and the University of Missouri as a pitching coach. Uh, you led the nation, I think, number two in the country in strikeouts at Rice. What was it about the UIW program that convinced you to come here from Missouri? Uh, I think first and foremost, it was a Division I head coaching opportunity. Those are hard to come by. And then uh, UIW in the city of San Antonio was, was uh, certainly um, appealing. I have family in town. My, my mom and sister and her family live here. And, uh, you know, the campus is wonderful. The, the community around the campus is wonderful. So there's a lot of things that uh, made it appealing. Both you and your wife are for, from Houston. Uh, she also was a Rice graduate. Uh, for your four kids and your family, is this a little bit like coming home? It is. Like I mentioned, the, the, my mom being here, my sister being here, and, and uh, my kids would have three cousins to, to hang out with, so to speak. So um, not directly home, but certainly a homecoming when, when we're coming from Missouri. It's a lot closer to the original home. And now that we call this home, it, it's been fun and, and uh, it's nice to be close to family. Well, when are you going to uh, get rid of that Rockets jersey and start uh -huh. becoming a Spurs fan? Uh, i got to stick to the roots. I'll cheer for the Spurs, just not when they're playing the Rockets. <laughs> understood, understood. You had great success as a pitching coach, both at Rice and University of Missouri. What's your secret in developing collegiate pitchers? I don't know if it's a secret. You know, I think it starts with strikes. That's a huge emphasis, to throw strikes and to throw strike one um, on that first pitch. So. It's classic fundamental pitching, really. Um, you know, beyond throwing strikes, there's some other things um, that you got to do. You got to change speeds and, and, and be a pitcher, not just a thrower. You got to control a running game, be athletic out there on the mound. And all this starts in practice. It starts with arm care, and, and healthy arms is important to us. So we got an intricate arm care program, keeping guys healthy. Um, but it's a little bit of everything, but it's no, I don't think it's a secret or, or uh, fancy. It's a lot of fundamentals. As a collegiate player at Rice, you were all Southwest Conference as a catcher. You had a nine-year career professionally in the Kansas City Royals and San Francisco Giants organization. Uh, got all the way up to AAA. Who is the best player you've ever played with or against as a professional or collegiate athlete? Oh, that's a good question. I think... Um, the easy answer is Lance Bergman. I played with Lance when he was at when we were at Rice together. He was a freshman, I was a junior, so we didn't know Lance was gonna be Lance Bergman. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so at in the moment, I think the best player would be Carlos Beltran because you knew we were young. He was young too, but you knew in the minor leagues that that uh, Beltran was special and he was different. <laughs> he wasn't like the rest of us. He was really good at everything he did. There was no there was nothing he couldn't do. Um, obviously, I think he retired this off season finally, but he had a marvelous major league career. So it was just fun to watch him do everything he did. The Cardinals offense uh, made great strides last year. Uh, they had a lot of freshman starters. I believe they finished uh, fifth in the conference in on-base percentage at 369, sixth in batting average at 278. What do you want to see from the Cardinals offense this year? It's a good question. And the answer is a little odd, but I want to see defense. <laughs> defense from the offense. How's, how's that? <laughs> they put up good offensive numbers, and, and there's some talented hitters here. They were here when I got here. Um, and so we've just tried to maintain a lot of the, the swing path that they've had. They really, most of our guys use the whole field. The strokes are flat. We were happy with all that. Um, but we got to play better defense. Those same offensive players you're, that put up those numbers are the same guys we're running out there to play defense. So we must improve on defense. So in other words, if, if your hitters aren't doing the job defensively, does that have a domino effect on who you can put in the starting lineup? It does. And we've been open uh, with the guys and told them that defense is a priority. We're fortunate to have some depth with the hitters, with the batters. So we can switch some personnel around in different positions. Kyle Bergeron's a perfect example. He could play all over the field. Um, so yeah, we're looking for nine, what we call stingy defenders, where they approach the game every day mentally to try to win the game on defense. Last year, the Cardinals uh, were eight and 22 in the Southland Conference to finish in 12th out of 13 teams. 
What does this team have to do to make the big stride forward to finish in the top eight and make the conference tournament? Yeah, it starts with the, the stuff we've been talking about, you and I, for the last two or three minutes, and it starts with pitching. The pitching has to get better, and the defense has to get better. So it starts with strikes. Um, there's some talent here on the mound, but they didn't throw enough strikes last year. So we need to throw more strikes, limit the free passes. Um, and then once we do that, which I think we will, we need to play better defense. And that starts uh, mentally, it starts between the ears. It starts with guys who want to play good defense. Um, and then it obviously carries on to the actual play. So uh, pitching and defense. <laughs> In terms of recruiting, uh, why should a student athlete baseball player want to come to UIW to, to play for the Cardinals and play for you? Well, I think some of the same reasons that I wanted to come. Um, the city of San Antonio is wonderful. It's a great place to live. It's a great place to go to college. It's a lot of fun. The opportunities to basically do whatever you want are right here. And, and UIW sits right in the middle of San Antonio. Um, and then on top of that, it's, it's a private, faith-based small intimate school so there's a lot of advantages to that just in terms of the size and for me being a faith-based school was important so there's a lot of draws you know if you're a young man that uh, is looking for uh, an avenue to your future it's a wonderful place let's look forward uh, two weeks you open the season here at home uh, against North Dakota State uh, what do you anticipate from them uh, we've looked at them a little bit. I say we as in the, the coaches. Scouted them a little bit. We haven't got too in-depth with it, but they won over 30 games last year, so they're a good program. Coach Brown up there uh, does a good job. Looks like they, they like to play fundamental baseball as in a little bit of small ball. They had a lot, a lot of sacrifice bunts last year, so it looks like they're going to try to move runners over and make you make plays, which is exciting because that's what we've been working on. we got to make plays. Um, so I I think we'll get deeper into the scouting report over the next two weeks, um, but I think they're going to make you beat them. They're not going to beat themselves, um, and that sounds easier said than done. Uh, it's not. You know, if you can uh, throw strikes and make all the plays, you can be hard to beat. So that's our plan. That's what we plan on doing and letting our hitters be themselves because our hitters are pretty good. The next weekend after that's the uh, Irish Classic, several games at Wolf Stadium. That's got to be exciting for your players to play in a professional park. Uh, who are the other teams in that tournament? Can you preview that for our fans? Yeah, we open with Notre Dame, who's always good. Obviously, it's a big Power 5 school. Play those guys on Thursday night out there. Um, and then we got Purdue and St. Louis. Um, Purdue's got a new coach, was in last year, came from Oregon. A lot of success as an assistant. Um, so he's looking to get those guys heading in the right direction. He did a good job last year. Of course, that's a Power 5 school too. And then we play St. Louis, um, who traditionally has a very good baseball program. Uh, I followed them a little bit last year when I was at Missouri, um, and they're well coached. So it's a good tournament. It's going to be fun. Can you tell our fans a little bit about uh, some of the more experienced players on the team? A lot of freshmen, now sophomores coming back, but you've got some experienced pitchers, uh, Bernie Martinez, John Scholl, and of course, uh, Mark Whitehead in the outfield. Yeah, a lot of guys back, a lot of experience back, good players. Um, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I got here, but I was pleased with the talent we have. Um, you know, Mark Whitehead had a good year. You mentioned Whitey in center field. Um, Lee Thomas and David Anaya at the corners. Um, they got to play better defense, but they can certainly hit. And then on the mound, uh, Bernie's coming into the season probably our top guy. Um, we really like the way he's looked. He can throw three pitches for strikes and got a little bit on the fastball. John Scholes, a proven strike thrower, um, which that's where pitching starts. But we need some other guys to develop. You know, those two guys can't pitch every game, every inning. So, uh, but we've got some prospects. Tyler Miller's look good. He's a returning guy. Um, walked too many last year, but if Tyler throws strikes, he can be his, he could be our best guy. So it's exciting. And other pitchers are, are doing well. Those guys are hungry and the challenge is out there. We haven't, uh, we haven't shied away from communicating who needs to improve and what they need to do to improve. And the pitching staff's embracing that because that's where it starts. One thing you told me when we met earlier, Coach Hallmark, is you try to simplify the game and for the pitchers give them metrics and goals that are objective that they can achieve. Why is it that you do that and how's that worked out? Well, baseball can be a frustrating game. 
um, it's very subjective, a lot of it. Um, so to me, the more you can give a young, any player, but especially a young player, some targets to hit that are entirely within his control, um, it takes away some of that subjectivity, some of the, some of the doubt, and it makes them more accountable. So as a pitcher, if I give them a strike percentage number to hit, um, that's, that's up to them. They can't control the batter might hit it, but that's still a strike. So uh, we've tried to do some of that and, and the guys are embracing it. And, and I really believe if we, if we hit those numbers and we play the defense that we're capable of playing, we're gonna be a good team. Final question for you, Coach. Uh, what can you tell us about the work ethic and how eager your guys are to start the season in two weeks? It's been fabulous. Um, the guys are all in. So that's been fun. I, I don't have a, there's not a day that goes by that I walk off the field thinking, ah, we didn't work too hard today. Not a single day. But that's been a joy. My job's been fun. It's a challenge. We got, we got areas we got to improve in, um, like we've mentioned, the defense, the pitching. Um, but the, the players, the young men that are here have been uh, a, a true pleasure to be around, and, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season with them. Fantastic. Well, thanks for your time, Coach, and I look forward to speaking with you on the air after some Cardinal victories. You got it. Hopefully it'll warm up a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> we hope so.